What's up? This is Mick, and I am back with another unboxing. Right now, it is the December horror pack, which, if you saw the November one, you know, the only reason I have December is because I did not cancel them in time, but that's, that's okay. Um, and my only reason for perchance canceling it was maybe a little bit of the selection that's given. So maybe next few months that changes, I get back on board. Um, I have, though, taken to doing reviews of some of the more offset movies, you know, the other movies that they have in some of these, and if you want to check some reviews, links are going to be down below. But, I will use my trusty and very old Swiss Army knife. The reason the scissors are out is because they're stuck that way. But that's okay. Okay, so as always, horror pack, the good thing with them is they send it up pretty well sealed. So you do get to do it blind pretty easily. Box out of the way. And let's see what we get. The old mystery package. Huh? Is it bubble wrap? No, just the envelope. That is Fox. Again, I am one half of the Uncaved Crusaders. Um, you know, by now you know who I am. And if you don't, hit the link down below and you'll find a little something out. So our first DVD for December is... Chrome Skull. Raid to Rest. Um, the director's cut. The unrated director's cut. Which, you know... Director's cuts are great. Sometimes, like a movie like Batman for Superman, the director's cut makes a whole lot of sense. It was the original cut, apparently. You know, well, I think he just was paid to say that. Um, but I got a feeling in horror movies like this, which I did see Chrome Skull, I saw Chrome Skull 1, I saw Chrome Skull 2. It's decent movies for what it is. I don't mind having this, at least as far as the movies that they can give you go. This is cool because it's not something I see out there. I don't see it on Netflix, I don't see it on Amazon. Um, I haven't been on Shutter in a bit, but it's good. That's one of the reasons to be with Hall Pack. Either to get classics on Blu-ray that I don't have yet, or to get something I've never heard of, or get copies of stuff that, you know, don't exist otherwise. So I like that one. I'm okay with that one. The next one is the exact opposite my feeling. Uh, a Christmas story. Um, a Christmas horror story, anyway. Um, I said a Christmas story, because today the film is on Christmas, and... I have watched Ralphie a couple of times today. The reason I'm not happy with this one um, isn't the movie itself. The movie itself was, was fine. This is actually the first movie of the past few years Krampus started to become a big deal. This is the first pseudo mainstream movie that popped, Krampus popped into. And then you saw a couple other ones afterwards, like um, the, the big one that was in the theaters and a couple after that. My problem with this movie in Hall Pack, though, is... This movie is on Netflix and has been on Netflix for a while. So one of the rewards with Hard Pack is stuff that you don't see. I have a Netflix account. I could see it there if I want to. You know, so I, I wish they a little bit more unique again with the selections. Chrome Stone's cool too. It's good. This, I don't do you have your own well. Netflix account or do you borrow someone else's like I, most I, people? I have my own. Have okay. My own. And a lot of people borrow that one, but that's okay. Um, but I tell you what, it is a good anthology. So, you know, I'm, I'm not terribly upset. Okay, so this is Cell Count, um, and this I believe, let me look at it real quick, it's, it's signed, it's hard pack, it's signed, um, okay, it's signed in silver pink, you can sort of make it out there, I don't know if you want to zoom in and, and see, I'm going to assume there that's you go. the director or the writer. Um, Russell Carpenter reluctantly admits his wife Sadie into an experimental treatment facility for her life-threatening disease. While locked in the prison, like surrounding her, they, along with others, are unwillingly subjected to a cure that might be worse than the disease itself. Okay, maybe this is a zombie mutation type movie. Again, this I have no problem with, because for the price of the Blu-ray with shipping and everything, what is it, six bucks or so, it's a movie that I otherwise probably wouldn't have been exposed to. And as you'll see when you look at my horror reviews, I look at horror differently than maybe other movies. Because a bad horror movie still has something for you. You know, if you look at a bad horror movie, you might see a really cool kill or it's a cool quip. As opposed to if you look at a bad action movie or comedy that just has nada. So that's not bad. I will watch this. I'll do a review for it. And the last one is... <sighs> John Carpenter's The Ward. I, I have seen this movie. Um... Well, it's not a, not a bad movie. Um, but again, this movie is available on streaming sites. It is called John Carpenter, so this might get closer to that classic ad, 
you know, range, although not a classic by any means. John Carpenter has done several of them. Um, so, again, I, I take it or leave it as far as that goes me. Again, that means two of the movies they gave, Christmas Horror Story and The Ward, you know, you have a Netflix account, you can watch them as often as you want. You know, this one is going to determine the strength of the century this month. If this is a good movie, you know, it's, it's awesome. If it's a really good horror movie, pay 20 bucks, 20 bucks, some of my books with just one blue way, cool. Do you get to review it? This is bad, I did say. I'll do a review of yeah. it. It'll happen. Um, maybe I'll subject you to it. Ooh. I did subject I'm not him. sure about watching horror. <laughs> I will say, for those horror fans out there, I did get Fox to watch Three Boy Camp, which to me, that is a cult classic. Very out there. One of the bigger twist endings of a movie, so I don't want to spoil it, even though it's old. If you haven't seen it, go see it. I know it's from 83. But that said, this is Horror Pack for December. I will be back with one in January. And definitely, if you're interested in horror films, check out the reviews, because initially the reviews I'm doing are straight from the past couple of horror packs. Thanks a lot.